Hi, I'm Rick Steves, and I'm in a museum very few people go to. It's the Museum of the Civilization of Rome. It's out in EUR, Mussolini's planned futuristic fascist kind of city. And uh, I like this museum because there's nothing original. It's just all casts, but it shows every important ancient bit. And what we've got here is Trajan's Column. And Trajan's Column goes straight up, but those columns are barrels, lots of different slabs that are stacked, and they're propaganda. And here we have the propaganda. It's called continuous narration. It wraps all the way up the towering column, which must be 50 meters high, and uh, it tells the story of the Emperor Trajan as he beat the Dacians in about the year 100 AD. And uh, that was former, uh, today, what we'd call Romania. But these are all the little scenes. This is all propaganda. When an emperor takes his troops to a faraway land and they conquer the barbarians, they come home and they tell the stories, the Eisenhower of the day, coming back and celebrating his victory as Rome was making all the barbarian tribes quiet and establishing what they called the Pax Romana, which is really your boot is on their neck and you'll have peace as long as you're all very docile and polite and obey the emperor. So here we have the column. You can actually see it right here. Uh, look at the, how that would stand. And that was how it would have looked, uh, you know, 2,000 years ago. And a lot of people don't appreciate all the minute detail that tells the story of the triumphant emperor. So I guess it's just another example about how art is often propaganda, and it's best if you know who paid for it and why. I'm Rick Steves. We're learning lots about ancient Rome. Happy travels.